Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from the month of November. Yes, I realize this is the middle of December and um, yeah, just life got away from me. So this is, let's see, December 15th. So um, I have not, I mean, not a lot, but a substantial amount of favorites to share. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the first thing that I've been really, really loving, and I think I'm probably gonna end up getting the full size, is the Too Faced um, uh, Primed and Peachy Face Primer. So this is the sample, like sample size, trial size, whatever you wanna call it, um, that I got in my Sephora order when I ordered the um, Just Peachy Mattes palette. Um, I really, really like this. I Put this on underneath my foundation today and I I don't know it first of all smells like peaches um, second it just it dries down to where you don't feel it um, it doesn't stay tacky it just kind of almost melts into your skin which I love so um, and it's got like this cooling feeling um, when you first put it on so I really, I really enjoy this. Um, it is a matte primer, so it's not gonna make you look, you know, obviously like a disco ball. I love pairing it with my more um, glowy foundation. So like my, um, what I have on today is the It CC Cream uh, Illumination version, and this underneath it works so well. So um, yeah, I love this primer. So I probably, will invest in getting the full size because I love it. So foundation that great. I've been wearing, obviously, is the um, It Cosmetics uh, Your Skin But Better CC Cream, the Illumination version. Yes, this is the jumbo size. Um, I There was a TSV special value on QVC a few months ago that um, had the jumbo size and honestly, when they have the jumbo size, you better jump on it because they don't it's I think it's like once a year thing that they do <clears throat> so I I just went ahead and purchased it because I never tried the elimination version and so why not right um yeah <laughs> there's still a lot in here let me tell you um but I really really love this um I have never been a person that gravitated towards anything that said illuminating or luminous or glowy because I have oily skin. So why do I want to make my face look more like a disco ball than it already is? <laughs> so, uh, but honestly, this, it just, it adds that glow, but it's not like disco ball. So um, that's what I love about it. It's, it's great. And the fact that it's got SPF 50, yes, please. So that, I, that I've been wearing this all I've been long. using, love still it. using these up. <laughs> Still using them up. Um, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Um, once again, if you've been with my channel for a while, um, I used to use the Too Faced, um, what was it called? Uh, Shadow Insurance. They changed the formula and made it like greasy and I don't know, it just didn't work. So I switched to a drugstore primer. I switched to the Maybelline uh, long lasting eye base. That one was really, really great. I think it is right up there with this. Um, but I ran out of it and I just, I didn't like the packaging of that one. Um, it was like this hard plastic. I don't have it anymore, but it's like this hard plastic that you can't get every last bit out. That's why I love the squeezy tubes because you can, uh, if you get down to the end, you can eventually cut them open so you can get every last bit out. Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons why I really, really love this. Second reason is the fact that it's just a freaking good primer. Um, so I just, the only thing is, I mean, I have a lot of these laying around as far as the sample size, um, cause you get them when you order any of the Lorac palettes, you can always get one of these. Um, but the thing that I can't bring myself to do is purchase the full size, which I think is like 22 bucks. So that's, that's a little pricey. So, um, but yeah, I love this primer. Let's this just, let's so just good. go for it. Eyes, okay. So, all right. I have tried 
many times to find a dupe for this palette. I'm still looking um, for even just shade um, dupes. Um, so I'm still looking, I promise. Um, and I will do a comparison once I find all that here soon. But the palette I've been using pretty much all month is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. I love this. It's such a good palette. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror, but um, I love all the shades in here. Um, as you can see, um, there's quite a few that I've been using quite a bit of, um, but I love this because, ooh, as I almost drop it, there's there's uh, so many different ways you can go with this palette. You can go super deep and dark over here, or you can go really light over in here. So. I just love the versatility of this palette, um, and the mattes are just, the Too Faced always does such a good job, but I feel like this palette is really, really great. So um, yeah, this is awesome. So been I've been that. using the heck out of the e.l.f. Um, blush and Blushing Rose. It's such a great fall shade. Um, it reminds me... Honestly, I believe it's a dupe for the NARS Orgasm because it's the same kind of thing. It's the same, uh, there's a swatch right there. Um, put it on the back of my hand. So there's a swatch of it right there. Um, it's that same uh, sh subtle shimmer, uh, but it's like that, I don't know, it's, it's just gorgeous. It, to me, is like a just in from the cold look or just went on a run or I don't know it's it's just that perfect winter fall uh season blush it's just so good and it's three dollars I mean really it's awesome <laughs> so, so let's I've been talk loving about that. this for a second so I have been using the benefit give me brow I'm in shade number five um I have it in my brows today clearly I don't need a lot of fill in, but I do have a little bit of some sparse areas kind of here in the front. Um, and this does such a good job. Uh, so that's been awesome to use. I love that. And then I use over the top of it. This may be a little bit much, but my brows get really unruly. So uh, I've been using the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel over the top of it. Um, love this stuff. This is my second tube. It's awesome. I love it. And for six bucks, are you kidding me? Y'all need to go out and get yourself some of this Control Freak Brow Gel if your eyebrows are like mine and they like to do whatever they want. So, uh, yeah, this combo together, so fantastic. So, for under eye, um, I've been using the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. Looks like such. I'm in shade number two. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Um... I have made a pretty good dent um, in this product. I really like it. Um, I'm, I have it on under my eyes today. Uh, I feel like it stays where it needs to. It doesn't, um, doesn't crease throughout the day. It, uh, it doesn't like, like if you, if you get watery eyes, it doesn't, and I tend to, because I have really bad allergies, it doesn't, uh, like peel off like there was one that I used uh, the pixie oh the pixie brightening concealer or something I can't remember exactly what the name is but anyway um, that one would like ball up and like peel off if your eyes got watery so um, I love the fact that this doesn't do that um, it's it counteracts my under eye circles I love it it's great so I highly suggest you check this out. And it's, this is the little size. I, um, this holds, let's see, 0 0.05 ounces. So, but honestly, because you don't use very much, there's a ton in here. So I really don't think that, I mean, I, yeah. It, <laughs> bottom line is you're not going to use very much of it. So this little size is perfectly fine. So anyway, the other concealer that I've been using for spot concealing, and I have it on today, is also from Benefit. It's the Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. It looks like this. Again, I'm in shade number two. Um, it's just your standard concealer. 
I honestly, you guys, I was shocked at how good this looks on my skin because I'm so used to concealers looking really cakey and just enhancing the, the problem areas um, more, but this certainly does not do that. I have been really, really loving this. This is great. So, um, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, and what I've been using to set um, my under eye concealer is, or no, I'm sorry, my spot concealer is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral uh, Powder. Um, I've had this for a long time and I just pulled it out again to just start using it. Uh, so it looks like that. It's your typical typical powder. Um, I'm in the shade Buff Beige. Uh, you do get, it's one of those that's the lift up kind of deal. Uh, you do get a little sponge right here, but I've never, I've never used it to be quite honest with you. Um, so anyway, but yeah, that's the powder I've been using, uh, to, uh, set my spot concealer and it does a fantastic job. So for setting this. powder, for all over setting powder, um, I've been using, <laughs> still using it, the Maybelline, uh, Master Fix, Face Studio um, Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I've been trying to use this thing up for what seems like forever, uh, and there's still a lot in here, let me tell you. Um, but it's a great powder. Um, I feel like for my oily skin, it works super well um, at keeping my skin matte uh, enough throughout the day to where by the end of the day, it doesn't look like I'm such an oil slick. Um, I did, however, before I um, shot this video this morning, I did, however, touch up a little bit in the T-zone um, just because I was a little bit oily. But overall, I feel like this powder um, does so a really mascara. Good job. I have been using the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous, I can't talk, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I freaking love this. Um, I've used so many mascaras. The one that I swore was my holy grail was the um, It Cosmetics Superhero. Don't get me wrong, I still love that one, but this one from the drugstore, and because it's, to me, this one is right up there with uh, the Superhero mascara, just because of the quality, I feel like it's they're pretty much the same. Um, this is fantastic. I love this. Honestly, the funny thing is, though, it reminds me a lot of the, um, oh, uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, um, just because of how the wand is. So there's a look at the applicator. Um, it's traditional bristle brushes. It's traditional bristles. <laughs> Uh, um, but I, I love this. Um, it's not too big of a brush to where you can't get in there. Um, so it gets really almost every, pretty much every lash. Um, the one thing I will say, so I got the, uh, cause they have, you know, the traditional black is black, black, brown, all that kind of stuff. I got the mystic black. I don't know why I thought, I was like, oh, that's intriguing. I wonder if it's, you know, a deeper black or whatever um, than the blackest black. Honestly, and I think Emily uh, from Emily Noel 83, I think she just talked about this. Uh, so I've had this for, I don't know, maybe two months, maybe. And this thing is already so dry. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I have not had a mascara dry out this quick on me, but this morning when I was trying to apply it, it's like, I, I don't know. So that's the only thing with this one. That's what's funny. So I'm curious to see, um, and I'll report back to you, um, if the Black is Black does the same thing. According to Emily, it doesn't. So um, word of advice, if you're interested in this particular mascara, get the Black is Black, not the Mystic Black. Um, this is E. e. Again, words, can't talk today. Uh, so this is a rediscovered um, product in my collection. So this is from L'Oreal, and it is the Lilac 
uh, shiny full coverage lip color in the shade, let's see, 201 um, Lackey Charm. <laughs> really cute name. Um, so I'm wearing it on my lips today. And this is, it's such a skinny little pencil, but the funny thing is I love how um, it's not too big. So it's, the application is super easy. Um, I love this and the shade is gorgeous. Um, here, I'll give you a little swatch. Uh, it's, I mean, you can see it on my lips obviously, but so there's a, there's a swatch of it for you. Um, I love this and it's such, it's, it's uh, shiny, but at the same time it dries to, the shine doesn't stay there all day it eventually will fade a little bit. Um, but I I really, really love this shade. So this is a fantastic, and the, the staying power actually is really, really good. I mean, I reapplied it right before I shot this video, but it's not like I necessarily needed to. Um, so it's, it's fantastic. Um, the thing that I would be careful of is that it is a little bit drying. Um, so you want to make sure before you apply this that you put a lip balm underneath um, just to give your lips some moisture beforehand. But other than that, all right, my friends. Well, I believe that covered everything for my favorites for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.